I'm releasing this video following the Space Invader 1 video on Crusader and how to move files between unread systems. I previously had two parity drives of 8TB and multiple data drives and now want to move all my data to a 18TB drive while staying on the same exact system. If you are searching on how to do that, you will need to stop your array, go in Tools and New Configuration. From this page, you can create a new array configuration or simply remove your drives from your array. Optionally, you can keep your cache pools untouched. So I've just done that and I've added one 18 terabyte data drive and no parity drive yet. So let's go back on Crusader and discuss about the issues. What I thought could be a good idea was to open each drive and to copy its contents in the new drive. This could be working if you're doing it drive by drive, but if you're launching four copy tasks running alongside, since the data is spreaded across each drive, each time one task is creating a folder and another task wants to write in the folder, you will have a prompt asking you if you agree to write in that folder. The problem is this prompt will not appear right away. So how can we manage to just launch a task and forget about it? So you may have guessed what happened to me. I launched four copy tasks, I went to bed and when I woke up, I thought to have 16 terabyte of data copied in my new drive, but in fact, there was only one terabyte and multiple prompt asking me if I could uh, write in these folders. So now I have an issue because I don't want to delete the one terabyte of data which has been already copied. And while I could have accepted the prompt, I was afraid to encounter this issue multiple times. So I searched a bit and I found that in Crusader, other than just copying, pasting, you can also synchronize the selected files. So I clicked that and this is the window I got. So it took a while to compute and I can see the difference between the two folders. And the files that are on the left have been moved from other drives. And on the right, I can see in blue all the files that have not been copied during the process because I canceled it, of course. So now what I can do is click this button, show file marked copy from right to left. So indeed, this is what I want to do. And then synchronize. Start. So from, let's say, my failed copy, I can now fix it without starting all over again. And this is super convenient. And this is an option of Crusader that I haven't seen discussed a lot. I hope you liked it. See you later.